Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode we got two parts which was great. We also cleared out the area full of frogs which was even greater. Now for our greatest part we are going to take the two, well two of the last four pieces in the game. How excited am I? As I said yesterday, well yesterday, I've actually recorded this after the last day's work. But as I said, this will be a day for the Cyan Blue Rangers, so get all of your blue Pikmin out, guys, you'll need them. And we're going to aim to take two pieces again, and one of them evolves the Candy Pop Buds, and that's the first one we're going to do. The Candy Pop Buds, as I've uh, discovered in this game, which I've never known about, which is weird because they seem pretty important, um, as will change your Pikmin's colour. If they're a yellow uh, candy pop flower bud, if you throw a blue Pikmin in there, they will turn yellow and all that jazz. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go uh, do it. And because we've killed all the frogs and stuff, there's literally no enemies. And there's no enemies in this watery bit. Well, apart from uh, this puffy glow face and uh, a couple of uh, munchers. I'm gonna call them munchers. I have no idea what they're called, but they munch Pikmin. <laughs> so I'm gonna call them munchers. Right, so kill the blowy blow face because uh, he can actually cause you problems if he because he can blow your Pikmin off the actual item that you're trying to uh, get. So you know, get rid of him. Get rid of him. He can cause problems. I would get rid of uh, those fellows over there as well. The uh, don't worry about Nectar in this one. Those fellows as well because they can cause you problems. They're they're about the only enemy though. Just swarm them. They're not that hard. Just swarm them. They're the only enemies. Seriously. The, all the other enemies are dead. We've annihilated them. <laughs> but anyway, there's the yellow candy pot bud. We're going to need yellow Pikmin here because the item that we need is actually on an island. And, you know, if it's on an, it's on an island on a ledge, which is uh, kind of problematic for us because the only way to get ledge pic uh, Pikmin on ledges is to use yellow uh, Pikmin. But there's water everywhere. And yellow Pikmin can't go on uh, water. Well, what you're going to do is, somehow, <laughs> I seem to be struggling here, get a blue Pikmin up here. Um, I, th I think you need 20 of them. Get at least 20 up here and throw all the blue Pikmin into the uh, the candy pot bud. You know, I'm going to do this uh, a little bit at a time because it's, it's a bit safer that way. So, get all the blue Pikmin well, that you've uh, managed to get up there and just throw them in. Throw them in. Just throw them in, and they'll, they, they may sat, ma make a suffering noise, but believe me, they aren't suffering. It is all good. Right, and yellow seeds will come out, which is super fantastic, don't you think? What a great invention, the candy pot bud. I think they're in Pikmin 2 as well, never played Pikmin 2. Um, from the looks of it, I don't think I want to, it looks really hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, get a few more up there. I need 20 for the actual item. And it's kind of a big item as well. Right, that should be it as far as I'm concerned. So let's throw all you guys. You guys can go in the flower. Yeah, and if it doesn't actually... If it doesn't actually throw your Pikmin out straight away, don't worry about it, it will do. It just, it might take a while. Now, because of the yell the nature of yellow Pikmin, you, well, they, they like to run about, so I wouldn't actually pick all your Pikmin straight away. I'd actually uh, pull out about four of them and then chuck them across the beach. They should make it with relative ease, so don't worry about it. Just chuck them over and they'll be fine. Get about four or five, unless you're feeling a bit brave. If you're feeling brave, you can rip ten out of it for, for all I care. <laughs> But I'm just saying that uh, this is a moment where the upstart DJ way of being brutal and unforgiving is probably not the best way to go. Once the actual item, which you should see in the top of the screen, once the actual item is off that ledge, you need to retreat all of your uh, yellow Pikmin and bring the blues in. But you, you, probably, you probably could have guessed that anyway. I don't think I've got 20 with me, but... No, I've got 22 with plus one blue Pikmin, that's 21. That's fine. So just throw them up there. Just throw them up there. And they should, uh, let's have a look. Six, 
17, any more? Any more for any more? Nope. Okay. So that's annoying, but luckily we've got some more. How much did it say? 17? So, 17 plus 3, upstart is 20. Fantastic maths. A star for me. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Screw the maths. I wanted 4. So just throw the yellow Pikmin over. And they shouldn't touch the water, simply because the yellow Pikmin, they fly better. Uh, yellow Pikmin can jump. So, uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean you guys. Oh, yeah, big. Uh, yeah, just treat your yellow Pikmin up there. Just, just, total disregard. Just chuck them up there. Uh, one more. Oh, you stop being stupid. Jump. Now. Go. Thank you. Right, so once that starts moving, as soon as they drop it off the ledge. Right, now. Well, let's find out what it is. I found my Kronos Reactor. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. Ha, I can warp the space-time continuum in my sleep. Oh, I almost threw all my yellow Pikmin in the water then. Well, you don't need yellow Pikmin now, so just chuck him back into this uh, blue candy pot though. And uh, let turn them into uh, blue Pikmin. If uh, some yellows didn't actually go in there, just, just chuck them in anyway. Chuck them back in. Bob is your uncle. There we go. Three more yellows. Yellows. Stop being yellow, you yellow belly Pikmin. I know, I know, it's the Kronos Reactor. Big whoop. Big fancy space whoop. <laughs> Anyway, just pull up all of the blue Pikmin seeds and then just use them to ferry that back. Now, there is a second piece that I want to get. It's the second Iodium Jet. If you remember the first one, well, it was very odiferous. Yes, it smelled bad. Well, apparently the second one smells a hell of a lot better. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get that as well in this episode. And that will just leave one more piece. I can't believe it. One more piece in this actual stage. Crazy. Uh, is that 20? Is that 20? 18? 19? Uh, you're kidding me, right? Luckily I have one more. Go, 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 go. Pick it. Go, go, go. Thank you. Right. Now don't worry about enemies. There are actually no enemies. I have cleared them all out. If you have cleared them all out as well, then give yourself a massive pat on the back. You know what, yellow Pikmin? I don't care about your safety. I don't care about your, uh, I don't care about you. Come on. I'm gonna drown you. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your jumping power now? <laughs> Right, you need the rest of your blue Pikmin, although they're probably going to jump on the bandwagon there. Now, for the second Ionium Jet, I think you only need 15. So, uh, let's let's take 46. No, in fact, no. I want 49, because I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> uh, right, so the second Ionium Jet is up here. How would you get up there, you ask? Well, uh, let's find out. Don't worry about those guys. Those are the guys you saw in the Forest of Hope. They just run away. What you need to do is throw your Pikmin up here. And you can throw them up there so easily. I don't need this many, but you might as well just throw them all up there just in case. And then just, well, I'm not going to throw them up all up there. I'm not going to take my own advice. Are you mad? Use the C stick to keep uh, your Pikmin up against the wall. Uh, they can't actually fall off this bit, but if you throw them over there, they will all go for the Ionium Jet. I think 25 can hold it, so you might as well just throw them all up there. Call up, call, call by any blue Pikmin you've got. Wait till it drops, and you have found the second Ionium Jet. It's easy on the eyes, and its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. Oh yeah, gotta save that money. Uh, you might as well take back some of these guys. Um, you won't be needing blue. Pi well, you do actually need blue Pikmin for the final uh, bit of the game, but you know we have like. A billion anyway. But that's the first item, that's the Kronos Reactor. Let's see what Olimar has to say about that. Kronos Reactor. This reactor changes permutations in the space-time continuum into pure energy. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. Yet, yeah, that is science condensed down to its littlest basic form. Thank God, because science confuses me. We have found 27 out of 30 parts. We are getting there, guys. We are getting there. Um, you, over there. Help this help this guy out. I don't think I've got a couple now. Oh, wait. Two more. No, I need, I need five, don't I? Okay, come back, guys. 
<laughs> right, so we have found two pieces. One of them is heading uh, back, the other one is already there. Can we get the last piece in half a day? Find out next time in Let's Play Pikmin. That didn't sound right. Find out next time on Let's Play Pikmin. That's better. See you later, guys.